Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sam. And today I decided to do a little bit different of a video. I decided to do makeup bag must-haves. These are just products that I always carry in my makeup bag when I need to do my makeup on the go. I normally don't do a full beat like this. I do more of like a no makeup makeup look I guess you could say why what am I doing with my hands just need to sit on them but yeah so today I figured I would show you guys what I normally keep in my makeup bag the products like vary um, from time to time sometimes I get stuck on a foundation and a concealer combo other times I'm constantly changing it up so I decided to show you what I always keep in my makeup bag and show you how I always achieve my look on the go I guess really uh, I, don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say let's just let's just get into this video <laughs> the first thing I always carry in my makeup bag a must-have is makeup wipes obviously I don't carry this whole thing I have the um, I want to say they're the Neutrogena singles let me find them obviously I don't carry this whole thing but these are those um, Neutrogena single makeup remover wipes that you keep seeing on TV. These are so convenient and so easy to travel with. You just take a few, throw them in your makeup bag, throw them in your purse, your jacket pocket, your car, wherever, and you have makeup removing wipes with you at all times. It's such a genius thing. Okay, next what I always carry in my makeup bag is some sort of a primer. Right now I am hooked on the Maybelline Master Prime. Um, this is the blurred, blurred. This is the blurred and smooth primer from Maybelline. It just it does exactly what it says it does. It blurs all your imperf well not all your imperfections. It smooths out and blurs any pores that you have. The next item that I always keep in my makeup bag while traveling is foundation. I, if you could see this corner over here on my makeup desk, it is straight up full of foundation. That's all it is. It's a corner of foundation. I have 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14 foundations. Oh, I might have a little bit of an obsession. Oh well. Um, but right now I'm hooked on, well, I keep going between two. It's either the Makeup Revolution Confine and Deceal. <laughs> Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation, or it is the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation. Oh my god, I don't like stick foundations, but as you can see, I use this one quite often. It just, it's, for a stick foundation, it's not heavy, and it almost blends out kind of like a powder. But yeah, these are... My two that I'm always throwing in my makeup bag or I throw in, if I'm going more for like a quick no makeup look, I do one of these BB creams also from Maybelline, um, the BB Pure. This one helps like, it's a skin perfecting, has a skin perfecting agent in it as well. It has 2% salicylic acid so that helps if you have like any breakouts or blemishes. So it not only does it cover it, but it also helps clear them up. And I also really like this BB Fresh. It's also a skin perfector, um, and it. But this one has SPF 30 in it, whereas this one does not. Next, I always have. Forgot to grab it. Concealers. So I again go between two concealers in my bag. These are. I have another concealer, but I don't use it that often. I'm not a big fan of it. But these are my two all-time favorite concealers. It's the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. Um, and it has... It's oil-free, so it's not like heavy or cakey underneath your eyes especially. So I really like that one. And this one's a little heavier and a little thicker. It's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This... <laughs> This was my first 
high-end concealer I bought when it first came out and holy poop is it phenomenal I I have freckles and you can't even tell I have freckles when I'm wearing this it's phenomenal next you know you always got to have like your powder brushes your highlight brush all of that your blush brush your contour bronzer brush all of those I always carry those with me and I actually use this morphe traveling case it's a hard case it came with my Jaclyn Hill favorites brushes I believe when I ordered those I got the hard case with it and it's the most genius thing ever you just throw all your brushes in that you're going to use for your makeup look and you just throw this in your bag and you're good to go uh, obviously it's a little big and bulky but oh well favorite sponge is this one i want to say it's from real techniques i think it's a real technique sponge but i just like how it's flat on these two sides it's dirty don't don't judge me it's flat on these two sides, so you can really like get up underneath your eye. And I wear contacts, so this is perfect because I don't have to worry about getting any makeup on my contacts. Because if I use this bad boy and I try and go underneath, it gets in like my waterline and then it goes on my contact. And then I can't see for the whole day. Next, my favorite blush. Well, not my favorite. I kind of go back and forth between two again but I always have to have blush somewhere in my bag whether or not I use it for some reason it's just kind of like a security blanket like just in case I feel like my look isn't final without blush because sometimes I don't feel like wearing blush um, for more of my light makeup days I wear the elf blush it's just this light pink you really have to like pack into it and really build it up if you want any sort of color to show but that's why I like this for more of like light makeup days when I'm not wearing like a bunch of eyeshadow and highlighter and bronzer and contour when I'm not wearing all of that then I'll go for this but on days like today where I'm wearing a bunch of makeup and I have a full face of makeup I'll reach for this one it is Tarte I want to say it yep it's their Amazonian clay 12 hour blush in feisty this for some reason you have to go light handed with this. I went a little heavy handed today and I had to go over it with my powder brush just to lighten it up a bit. This is just to die for. I'm obsessed with it. Next, what I always, 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 always have to go, like whenever I leave the house, I have to have some sort of lipstick with me. Whether it be chap, like just something to put on the lips, whether it be chapstick, lip gloss, or lipstick, or it's a matte lipstick, a liquid lipstick, something. I always have to have something on my lips at all times. I don't know what it is. I've ever since I was younger, I had an obsession with chapstick and lip gloss. Is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the shade 65, and it is just the perfect. I don't know if I would say nude, but it's just, I don't know. It goes with every single look. Next, I always have to have something for whoop, I have my, my eyebrows. There was one time where I forgot my brow setter and I cried because I was like, oh my God, my eyebrows, they're not going to stay in place. It, it was fine. I was only at work. Um, but my favorite brow setter is obviously the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit in the, the, the clear. I don't use the tinted one for the brow setter. And then my two all-time favorite, well, I have three, but I'm out of the other one right now. It's the Benefit, I think I, <laughs> I didn't throw it away. Um, it's the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade two. This is when I want more of like a light makeup look. But like today, I have the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer in the shade 305 Soft Brown on. This one matches my hair color a little better and it is just absolutely too dive for this if I'm not using a pencil. But this is the Tarte Busy Gal Brows in the shade medium brown. It's just this little like wand. Come on, focus. Just this little wand and it puts and it puts product on for you. Like so you can just kind of like fill in your brows real quick by adding some color and some definition to it. All right, we are closing in on 
pro like my must have, my beauty bag must haves. Here's with my favorite mascara, like no joke, this is always in my makeup bag when I do my makeup on the go. It is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise and it is, there's just something about this. First of all, this wand is just everything. But look at my lashes today. These are my real lashes, you guys. Like, just one coat of this and my lashes looked flippin' phenomenal. Next, face powder. I go in between, like, I'm constantly changing up my face powder. There's days where it's, like, I'm too, like, I'm working too much and I'm getting too sweaty. So that powder won't work for me because it sits on top of my skin instead of like melts in and it like beads up like it doesn't show my sweat but you can see where I get sweaty like especially on my chin and above my lip if you look close enough after like a Friday of working all day like last week Friday I bartended and then I was hostessing and I got super flipping sweaty I'm not gonna lie restaurant work when you're busy you get sweaty it's just the truth but for some reason this Cody airspun I got this at Walmart it was like three dollars for this big old thing of powder you can do anything in this well maybe not anything like I don't it doesn't make you make up waterproof but I have worn this so many times like on a hot summer day or night I should say I don't wear makeup during the day in the summer but on like a hot summer night at work and then we go out afterwards with friends, I wear this and my makeup does not move. I, oh, I forgot my ugh, duh. bronzer. I either throw this little Maybelline palette in or I use my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. But lately I've just been feeling these three shades right here. I haven't used this highlight yet. But I've been feeling these three bronzer shades. I'll use this one more for a contour and this one more for bronzing of the skin. But today, did a little differently. I went really light handed in with this one for my bronzer. And I just feel like it, it changed me. And then finally, highlighter. As we all know, Sammy goes heavy handed with this one. It is the Maybelline Master Chrome. 050 molten rose gold and it is to die for i think i've used it in every single makeup video since i've gotten it it is for drugstore it outdoes every high-end highlighter i have ever tried and i haven't tried many but let me tell you this one gives high-end makeup a high-end highlighter a run for its money I and then last but not least, I always have to have setting spray on me because there's just something about it. I feel like setting spray has just changed the game for sure, especially this Urban Decay D-Slick. For me especially, because I get so oily throughout the day, if I use this through like periodically throughout the day, it just helps so much. It helps lock everything in place and it has oil control in it. And it's oil free, paraben free, temperature, and it has temperature control technology. So it is just hands down for like more of a high end. Well, it is high end. This wasn't. This was. This is more expensive. Than this obviously, but this and this is same thing. So, so it's either the Urban Decay one or I love the Maybelline Master Fix wear boosting setting spray and it locks in makeup with a long lasting finish it's translucent and oil free so this one won't leave like a film on your face like some setting sprays i've noticed leave a film this one when they say locks in your makeup they mean locks in your makeup between this setting spray and this um loose powder my makeup will not move so i showed you what i carried my brushes in but me being me i forgot to show you what i carry my makeup in this is my makeup bag. I have a few, but this is just the one that I keep reaching for. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's like a deep one. Like you can fit a lot in it. Um, But yeah, this is my makeup bag. That is it for now. I will see you guys in my next video. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.